Hey, Hebro fans. Today we're going to talk about the last scene in Revolution. So first we see this, this figure walking up to this console of some sort in this big old red case. And we see this uh, mask that looks like Hordak. And then we see this floating Hordak in some kind of juice like a Star Wars type thing. This person pulls their mask off. And who is it? What is it? What could this possibly be? As we're looking at the He-Man breakdown. So let's go ahead and talk about earlier in the show. They show Skeletor and a baby. And look right here. We see two different cribs here on the side. One crib, two crib. And on the top crib, you can see there is a stuffed animal right there. And it looks a lot like Cringer or Battle Cat. Now in the other crib, we can see um, another stuffed animal. And this one looks a lot like She-Ra's horse, uh, Swift Wind, or Spirit. And you can see that Marlene is holding a baby. But where's the other baby? And then as the camera pans around, you can see Hordak running away. And you can see the kind of the blanket in his arm right there holding a baby as he's leaving. So this is the twin baby of He-Man. We see the same thing also play out in Filmation, where you see that Hordak steals the baby, and of course this is baby Adora, and he runs off into his porthole and uh, never heard from again. So where does this figure come from? Well, here in the DC Comics, we see this figure, and it's known as Despera. And Despera is this vicious person um, that was sent by Hordak and she is just something else. I mean, she even even kills off people right off the bat. Um, her and He-Man face odds. And then all of a sudden, Tila recognizes Adora? Adora. And then, of course, Zor, of course, gives some more information to this character and calls her Adora. That's not my name. And then you see uh, her later on, many comics later, finding the sword. And then uh, lifting the sword and say, for the honor of Grayskull. And then <laughs> lightning and all kinds of other stuff. And she becomes She-Ra. I am She-Ra. So there you go. That is who this character is. And there she is riding her swift wind. So cool. And then, of course, we're going to see a really cool scene of her and her brother together hollering the words, I have the power! And there they are. Now, in 2016, we had a figure released called Despera. Just like the comic I just showed you, and she came with this helmet right here. Now this helmet's kind of cool, looks like basically Hordak, but a female version. And she also came with a secondary head, which is this head right here with the short hair. You can kind of see how that head looks. And uh, I actually put Adora's head on her. I think it looks way cooler, but again, you can choose how you like. Now this figure was uh, one of the last characters designed for Masters of the Universe um, during Classics being that it wasn't actually even made until 2012 in the comic and then released in 2016 later on. You take a look at the, her actual calf right here. The original prototype had a small little thin calf area right here, but you can see they actually um, decided to go with the right size calf. I was all ready to customize mine and make it work, but I'm glad they actually used the right size piece in there. So cool looking with her dual swords and, uh, her black and gray outfit, it looks just really cool. Great figure, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, let's go ahead and watch that last scene together. Hey, if this is your first time here, thanks for joining us. Oh, I knocked down Adora on the ground. Anyway, we have lots of fun here all the time. we got a great community of people that watch my videos and stuff, and I have lots of cool, innovative ideas. 
So if you want to see something, if you love watching He-Man and the Masters of the Universe and using the action figures and all kinds of other things, and you want to see something a little different, come to this channel because we build some really cool things, some great customs, some cool 3D parts and everything else. So hit, hit the like button and subscribe and um, I will see you guys in future videos and you're going to love the community here. We got some great people here like Mike and Eric and Jeff and a bunch of other people that always come all the time and we just have a lot of fun talking about all kinds of things. Even yesterday as we were waiting for parts to heat up, we were talking about tacos and which is better to have the cheese melted on the, the meat or to have it on top of the lettuce and let it cool. So we run the gambit, but it's always about some sort of He-Man connection of some sort. So if you like He-Man, come join us. We got some crazy new ideas sometimes, some great customs, lots of cool um, 3D parts that we build. And sometimes if you actually become a member, you may even get a good discount on our 3D parts. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. And like they say in the 1987 movie, good journey. Bye now.